Hello friends, this video is a little bit different because instead of showing you the usual painting, I will be reviewing my brand new watercolor set. The watercolor paints I'll be showing you today are from Kuretake called Gansai Tembi. Now Gansai is the Japanese word for traditional watercolors, or at least that's what I discovered from my very quick Google search. The main difference between traditional Japanese watercolors and Western watercolors is the binder. Western watercolors usually use Arabic gum and Japanese traditional watercolors use different materials. But again, I learned this from a very quick Google search, so if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. I am familiar with the brand Kuretake. I use their water-based markers and I absolutely love their black ink. And I've seen some artists that I really like use these watercolors. So to be honest, I came into this review with very high expectations. The set comes in this beautiful flat green box and it is packaged in a way that displays the colors in their full vibrance. They're covered in a little plastic sheet and I've heard of some people who use it as kind of a makeshift mixing palette, which is really cool, I think. It also comes with two color charts, one on the inside of the box and another one on a se separate paper sheet. You'll notice that the pens are not attached to the bottom of the box, which makes them really loose and probably would make this set a really poor travel set. But considering it's pretty big size, I don't think it's even meant to be used that way. But in case the looseness bothers you, I saw some people use double-sided tape to attach the pants to the bottom of the box. Uh, I don't do that usually because I kind of like my pants more loose in the box. And also I, I don't use travel sets, but to each their own. One thing that I personally really like is how big the pans are, like my entire brush could fit on it and it makes loading the pigment so much easier. The paint itself activates so quickly, which is awesome, it really speaks volumes about the quality and the colors are very vibrant and you get a massive variety, at least in my opinion, this variety is very impressive. They have smaller sets but I bought the biggest one available because I'm, I'm just greedy like that. And the variety you get is it's amazing. Like the amounts of amount of reds and my personal favorite blue, it's really good. The only thing that bothered me is how when filling out the color chart, the paint dried really unevenly. Instead of like a flat wash, it had patches of pigment, which is pretty bad when you do like an actual serious painting. But I blame it on the paper because the color chart paper is not a watercolor paper is just a really low quality thing. So I tried out the paints on a normal watercolor paper, the one I'm used to, and it's great. It really dries very evenly and nicely. I wanted to compare the Kuretake watercolors to my favorite brand, which is Daniel Smith. I wanted to see which one I like more. And not gonna lie, the Kuretake got really, really close. I'd say it's almost the same quality-wise. Quality I'm sorry, my English is just... it's not here today. Um, but Daniel Smith, would I'd still consider that my favorite brand. I think it's still a little better. It is important for me to point out, though, that when it comes to the price, I think the Kuretake watercolors beats Daniel Smith with no questions. I got this entire set of 46 colors for around 80 bucks, which in the torturous world of watercolors is an amazing price. Daniel Smith though can be $20 or even more per tube. So if you look into more affordable watercolors, I think Kuretake is definitely a really good option. I wanted to see how these watercolors behave when I actually use them in an actual painting, so I made this tiny postcard size landscape with just a very simple composition with very simple colors, nothing too complicated, just so I can see how it looks. To paint the blue and pink sky, I used the wet on wet technique, and you'll notice right away that the paint spreads so nicely on the wet paper. This is a quality that I personally always look for in watercolors, because some of them, they just don't spread, you have to work hard to like smoothly spread 
print them on the paper. But these ones, they're so easy, which is great. It's very smooth and it's not patchy at all, and the pigment doesn't separate from the binder, which honestly happens even with the best quality brands. The description on the package said that these paints can also be used as gouache, that they're like more opaque and can be diluted to be used as watercolors, and I wanted to test that out. To be honest, like, I wouldn't say that it's the same as gouache, I think it's still a little more transparent, but it is pretty opaque when you need it to be. One thing I recommend looking out for is when you layer too much pigment, it becomes glossy. It has this little shiny surface and it's not necessarily an issue. It just depends on how exactly you want to paint and what you're looking for for the end result. My overall opinion on the Kuretake watercolor paints is it's really it's really good. It was really easy to use. The paint activates so quickly. The large pans are a massive bonus in my opinion. Like my personal technique works very well with these paints and they're affordable, which I think is the best part of this entire ordeal. Like I said, I got this really big set for $80 and there are smaller ones for even less. They also have iridescent paints if you're interested in that. I did not purchase them because I just have no need for it. I got my palette on Amazon, but I also saw it available on Etsy. If you're looking for watercolor paint that is not absolute crap, but also one that you don't have to sell your soul to get, Kuretake is definitely a really good option for you. I'll be giving away this postcard, so if you want to get it, you should head over to my Instagram. Link is in the description down below. Also, if you like what I do, you should consider check out my Patreon and also my Etsy shop. I have prints of my art and also some small jewelry that I make on my free time. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. As always, thank you so much for watching, thank you for your support, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!